morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, it is July. It's not July. <laughs> it is August 5th and it is 11.29 a.m. And you can see I am in my bedroom and there's Radcliffe and I am in my pajamas. Um, I woke up this morning just feeling like absolute garbage. I had a uh, temperature, or I had a fever. My temperature was about 102. Um, it's gone down a little bit since then. And uh, I was throwing up this morning and I just, and I couldn't stop coughing and it, yeah, that was kind of a mess. Um, I slept till about 10 o'clock, which was glorious. And now I have, I just took some cold medicine, which seems to be helping the cough a little bit. Um, my stomach is a little bit settled. I'm not going to eat anything right now, but, um, and I'm just, yeah, watching, watching some YouTube. I'm actually getting ready to start editing this week's vlog. Um, that's what I usually do on Monday nights. So I'm just going to sit in here and just, I'm, I've got my blanket, I've got my lion, I've, yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm all curled up. Um, took a shower, tossed my hair up, and I just feel a little bit more settled. So, um, I'm home alone today, so the house is quiet, and yeah, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube or maybe some Netflix and get some editing done on this week's vlog, and this is gonna be my day. So it is not going to be a super exciting start to the vlog, but yeah, this is just what I'm, what I'm working on. Um, sometimes you get sick, it stinks. Whoa, so I've been sitting in the bedroom working on editing the weekly vlog and just kind of relaxing, and all of a sudden, this guy's just opened. It is pouring, it's so windy, like you can see the rain going across in sheets. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. I don't know how well that came across on camera, but it is, you can see the rain, like you can see sheets of rain because of the wind. I'm gonna go look out the, the front door real quick. Holy moly. I mean, wow, out the front door, it's even louder. You can hear the hail, which I hate that. I hate watching my Jeep get pelted by hail. Um, it looks like it's pretty small. It doesn't look huge. Um, and I mean, really, there's nothing you can do about it. What am I gonna do? Go r run out there and dive on top of it? So yeah, crazy. I'm getting tucked back in. <laughs> oh, tucked back into the bedroom, but it is loud. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna pull up my phone and see what the radar looks like. I like a good thunderstorm, I do, but I'm home alone and it sounds like the house is being torn apart from inside here, but it's just it's just loud like that usually. Um, so it looks like the biggest chances are until two o'clock and it's 1.20 right now. Um, holy moly. So, tennis ball size hail, it says. Some people are getting tennis ball sized hail. Whoa. Um, and that does include our city. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roof, siding, windows, vehicles. Wow. lightning, all that stuff. Okay, so I was on a roll with editing the vlog, but I think I'm gonna turn my computer off and let where I'm at be where I'm at for now. Um, I can finish it tomorrow night. And yeah, hunker down and be a little bit nervous about the storm. 
Wish me luck. Is anybody getting annoyed yet at listening to me talk about how much I love my Jeep? Because I really do love it. I love it, what can I say? I look like a hot mess tonight. We are at our new storage garage. We just brought what is probably the last, um, well, it's definitely the last big load of stuff here. We've got a very small load of stuff that will need to come back here, still in the old storage unit, and then some stuff that's gonna go to Savers to donate tomorrow night. But then we are almost done. Woohoo! Hello! Hi. It's Wednesday. You're only getting like 10 seconds tonight because we are boring this week. We're just gonna watch TV and eat, but we had to tell you because we did a thing today. We have reservations. Hey. You say. At Olga's Cantina in October at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And we also made those for a February or January trip. Or January trip, we did, yep. But then also for October, reservations at the Lightsaber Factory. Yeah. What's it called? Savvy's? Savvy's Workshop? I think so, oh yep. God. I want to make a lightsaber. All of a sudden, ah. it just popped up. I, I saw people on Instagram saying they had reservations at Oga's Canteen, and I was like, weird. I didn't know you could do that. Or yeah, I didn't know. <coughs> we haven't been paying attention to any news if there was out there. But. I just figured there wasn't anything until it opened. So then I popped on, and the website was slow. It took forever. Well, they, you couldn't do it on the app. No. Nope. So they directed you to the website. But I did get us, so 9.55 a.m., we have a, a breakfast reservation. And it's not, like, it sounds like it's probably going to be standing room only. It's not a ton of food or anything like that. Who cares? But it'll just, we'll just be able we to get in. just want to get in there and look yeah, at it. So yeah, so that'll be fun. And then 1.05 p.m. is our reservation. He's going to make the lightsaber. But you can bring a guest, so I will go along and I will film it, yeah. so you guys can see it. Oh, we're so excited! So. And then I've got a lunch and a dinner reservation at Oga's Canteen in January for two separate days. We probably won't keep them both. It'll just depend on how everything goes. But I thought I'd go grab some because we don't really know. Yeah. We won't really know till it opens what it's gonna look like in a few months. Maybe it'll it's be no getting, biggie. Getting but closer and getting more real. Eighty days. Tonight is eighty days. Do you think we're gonna watch the Disney movie we had planned? No. No. We also had reservations to go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tonight, and we can those two. Yeah. Because it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, and the more I watched the preview, the more I thought, ooh, this looks so weird. I don't know. Two hours, 40 minutes, too. Also, because nice we're lazy. Movie. We're lazy piles. Yeah. We've just been lazy piles this week. We're gonna try out the new couch. Yeah, we're gonna try out the new couch and watch Big Bang Theory and eat. Yeah. So that's it, we're out. Bye. Bye. We're at Pop Belly. It's Thursday now. Whoa, dark. It's Thursday now and it's like what, 5 30 maybe? Almost oh, six. it's almost 6. I work till 5, so I'm kind of out of it time wise. But uh, we decided to come to Pop Belly for a turkey sandwich and some kettle chips. And I got some salt and vinegar kettle chips. And then we got Two different kinds of cookies we're gonna split. Mine is a tuna salad sandwich. Mmm, delicious. We're at Hobby Lobby and we're super happy. I'll show you why.
found what I want. It's like a giant, like a baby. And then, I just love carbs. <laughs> so it's good to me. Just roll with it. so nice out right now it's nice and cool breeze it's got to be maybe in the 70s I would think we just got done at, at Hobby Lobby I'll show you what we got when we get home I'm excited we got some cute stuff and we got a good deal so man how come there's no TGI Fridays where'd it go, Where'd it go? big old empty spot there used to be a TGI Fridays here. That's where we went on our very first date. It's so long ago that it, nothing can stay around that long. Oh my gosh, it's been, holy moly, 23 years? 23 years. 23 years it was in April. Like, how did that even happen? Oh my goodness. Well, in September, we're gonna have been married for 22 years. The clock never keeps, stops ticking. 22 years. 22. Next month, yeah. we've been married for 22 years. Crazy. No wonder we're old. Yeah. We always get surprised that we're old, but come on. And actually, I'm not as old as a lot of people who are married 22 years, because yeah. I was 20 when I got married. Kinda young. Yeah. How close were you to 25? One day. One day. That's why we got married the day we did. There was a handful of Saturdays right around that time. My mom and dad were kind of joking with us that we should get married on the same day they did, which was October 11th. We probably should have. We probably yeah, should have, in hindsight. Better, uh, time of year for us. Yeah, because we like October better than September, but um, he kind of wanted to be married before he was 25. So we went with that. Anyway, now we're gonna go to Cub and get some fixins because I want to grill tomorrow night. I'm not grilled yet this year and that's kind of sad and depressing. So we're gonna go do that. Seventy five it was. Seventy five. Really nice. Peaceful and it's pretty out, so it makes it a nice. Cool air. Yeah, it's cool air. We decided to pop by the cemetery. Um, this is where Jason's dad and my grandpa are both buried. So we just stopped by my grandpa's headstone, and now we're gonna stop by my father-in-law's. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Just paying a little respects. It is. I mean, it's a really well cared for, very pretty cemetery. Don't you think? 
I have some great grandparents buried here too, but I want to be in like that building. I don't know where. Yeah, we're shooting for that building over there. It's very disrespectful of us, isn't it, as we go through a cemetery? We were just talking about how basically how there's too many people because we stopped to get the mail and there's another person blocking the mailboxes yeah, right now. Eight o'clock at night. At eight o'clock at night. They can get the mail. I mean, we're getting the mail at eight o'clock at night. But yeah, what did you just say? I said, "When's the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Clear some of these people out of here." <laughs> We're sitting here wishing for the zombie apocalypse. You know, we watched a lot of Walking Dead, so we would be totally prepared for that. I mean, totally. <laughs> oh, we need help. We need help. All right, we'll show you what we got. We got a cub. We just got some hamburger buns and mm, some Johnsonville brat burgers and some corn on the cob. Tomorrow we're gonna grill. Somebody won't eat brat burgers. Nope. Somebody, Somebody won't. will eat hot dogs, but me and my mother in law will eat brat burgers. So that's exciting. And then here's the stuff we got at Hobby Lobby. What do you got? Cute little pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. It's got this little burlap on it. That was. $13.99, but it was 40% off. Everything was 40% off, so whatever 40% off of $13.99 is. This was $7.99, again, 40% off. Isn't that cute? I like it. Oh, it's so cute. It can sit out and then Mine. we can use it for, huh? What well, is his, but no. he picked it out, but I'm the hot beverage drinker. So I'll probably use it. Hot beverage drinker. This was $2.99, again, 40% off. He's still in no, so I'm 40, is it 45? I could have sworn it was 4610. Yeah, 4610. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick that on my desk at work. But that was cute. And then $4.99, 40% off. A little full fox. He's adorable. And last but not least, because you know, it's August, so of course. <laughs> we bought a Christmas decoration. It's like a, an easel, and then you can just, with chalk, write how many days till Christmas. And that was $7.99, 40% off. Awesome. Show them what came in the mail today, too. Friends of the fair. Guess what's in there? Should be our tickets. Let's find out. Friends of the fair just means we don't we make a donation to the state fair every year. Ooh. Oh. Two tickets. Two the admission fair. tickets. And tell them what we bought at the grocery store. Two more tickets to the fair. Because we decided we're gonna have to go twice this year. Mm. We also get the bargain book because of our donation, which is a uh, book full of like coupons you can use for food and drink at the fair. It's coming up quick. We'll take you with us this year. All right. I really think that's it. That's as exciting as we're gonna get tonight. See you tomorrow. What? Good night. Good morning. Happy Friday. It is August 8th, 9th? August 9th today. It is 7.02 a.m. and I'm getting ready to leave for work any minute. Um, but I just wanted to pop on and get today started. Here's Richard sitting here with me. I look like a hobo today, you guys, for real. I mean, my hair is doing what it's always doing and no makeup, couldn't even be bothered to put any jewelry on today. I'm just wearing, this is like a t-shirt dress, it's just long and then I've got leggings on and then these shoes that are kind of look like slippers a little bit. I, but I am just blissfully happy about it. <laughs> it's just one of those days where I felt like sleeping in a little bit and I'm expecting it to be pretty quiet at work. It's been a quiet week and I'm expecting um, today to be super quiet again. Fridays are usually the most quiet. So I'm hoping for that today because that'd be really nice to just kind of chill out and finish the week that way. Um, yeah, I've got, Jason works this weekend. So I've got some stuff, I've got some stuff going on. I'm gonna go grocery shopping and um, got some stuff to get done around the house and um, a few things like that. So. 
I'll take you along with for whatever I get up to this weekend. But I think I've come to a realization. And that is that planning is delicate business. <laughs> there is a fine line between planning to make sure you get things done and planning to death. And I am definitely a plan to death person, but I don't follow through on any of it. It is my absolute worst quality at this point in my life today. So I detailed out this plan for starting on Thursday. I did it Wednesday at work, starting on Thursday through the weekend. What I was going to do, and you guys, I'm not kidding when I say detailed. It had the minute I was going to get up and what I was going to be doing every minute from the time I got up till the time I went to bed. Literally every minute. Well, I haven't done any of it. I haven't done, I, I shouldn't say that. A few of the things on the list that needed to get done got done, but the minute by minute stuff, forget it, forget it. I slept in late almost every day this week. I, yeah, it's just, it just doesn't work. I get myself so overwhelmed and so stressed. And I, I feel like I keep coming to this realization and then I forget about it. And then I go back to uber ridiculous planning. So I'm going to work on that a little bit this weekend. Um, Sundays are usually the day that I get my planner and everything organized. Um, and it's going to be different this week. I've been thinking a lot about it. And I think to-do lists are a great thing because I think some things would never get done. But a to-do list needs to just be, here are the things that have to be done today. Cross them off as you do them. It doesn't need to be this one has to be done at 3.05 and this one has to be done at 5.29. You know, I'm, obviously there are some exceptions if you have appointments and things like that, but I'm a little bit rambly and I apologize. It's just because it's Friday morning and I'm so excited that it's Friday morning. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, it The weekends when Jason works are good and bad. I mean, I, I of course wish that he was home. Um, I prefer when we're able to be home together, but I do get a lot done on those weekends. Um, yeah, I get a lot done while he's at work and he only has to work until 1230 um, Saturday and Sunday. So it's not so bad. We don't lose our whole day. But anyway, I am also trying really hard to rack my brain for ideas for the Friday vlogs. Um, so there are sometimes when those are so easy when we come back from a vacation, then we have you know, vacation vlogs for Fridays or when we've done something super fun. I mean, last weekend we went out furniture shopping. Um, so I filmed a bunch of that and that's going to be this Saturday's video. But we have two weekends now, this weekend and next weekend with not a whole lot planned. Um, so I'm trying to think up ideas. I don't know if I'm going to do another little sit down video, maybe a get to know you type thing or I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to look for some ideas. Um, yeah. But when you're watching this, which won't be until next Wednesday, it's Friday, this following Wednesday is when this will go up. But if you have any ideas for something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know. I will definitely take those to heart for future videos. Um, we have a couple of thoughts. It's just we really want to, well, I'm going to be home most of this weekend and we really want to um, to have kind of a homey weekend next weekend too. And those aren't that interesting to film, but maybe we'll just find a way to be so interesting at home that you just will have to have to check that out. Okay. Now I'm being a little bit silly. So I think that means it is time to go. Um, plus my arm is just getting very, very sore. Can I tell you one thing I really need to get a hold of if I'm going to keep doing this vlogging thing is a tripod. Um, I would really like to have a tripod that I can just set up when I'm filming here in the bedroom. I also could use to get a little bit better lighting in here. Maybe a, maybe even a ring light. I, there's a few things that I want to add to my list because it seems like I'm going to keep doing this, this YouTube thing. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it. So anyway, with all of that said, I am going to pack everything up here and head off to work for the day. Um, tonight, we don't have a ton planned, but we are going to grill. Um, you'll have seen last night we got some brat burgers and we already had hot dogs and we got some corn. I love grilled corn in the husk, which is how we're going to grill it. So yeah, that's, that's the plan for tonight. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all she's got this morning. I will talk with you later. Happy Friday. Mm. Wow. Brat burgers, hot dogs. Corn.
thought you weren't going to start the hot dogs quite as soon. I put them on the top. Oh. So, that's true. Mm. It's going to be delicious. Friday evening. It's like 5.30. We're finally grilling for the first time this whole summer. <laughs> it's already the end of summer. Uh, we are really more fall people though, so yeah. I guess it is more fun to grill when it's nice out. We were just talking about all the things we need to do out here to make the outside look a little nicer. We've got this path. Sorry about all the noise, by the way, but we live off of a highway, so. We've got this path. That's fine, but it needs like edging to keep the grass from sneaking in, and it needs to be clean. And this used to have flowers and stuff, but we're not really flower people, are we? Those are good on the end. Yeah, those are fine. Those you are just good. Need to clean it out and put and fresh put something, mulch. and then put something green in here, yeah. I think, or maybe just mulch or whatever, and we could get like a lawn gnome or yeah. something cute like that to put in there. And I mean, it's dirt. We haven't swept up or any of that stuff like we should have, but. And then this is just depressing. We just painted this, what, two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago. Look at all the chips. All of this has all peeled off. So whatever we used did not withstand the weather. We also completely painted this. Does it look like it? Do? DIYers. No, we're not very good DIYers. We're gonna have to. Oh, you look really tiny. <laughs> we're gonna have to. I don't know. I would kind of like to get rid of this um, and maybe replace it with just a couple of chairs and a table or something, but that's a project for probably next year. Watch the unveiling. <laughs> Poor Jason, he does his last. It's like it's wearing a jacket. We should have done our own so you could have gotten yours done. Okay. It looks good. I think it looks good. That all looks delicious. Brat burgers and hot dogs. Mmm. We're having some cinnamon bread. Laying around having some cinnamon bread. Costco cinnamon bread, Costco, delicious. Uh, it's not even cinnamon, it's butter, butter, brown sugar, I think. Brown sugar butter bread. Is that what it is? I can't remember. It's delicious. S wow. Whatever it is, it's super good. It's so good. And now I'm going to attempt to figure out how to fix my spaceship. It should be interesting. <sighs> Can you tell we're overtired and ridiculous? I've mastered No Man's Sky, don't you think? Yeah. Like I'm perfect. You solved it, I think. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I can't turn around when something's biting me and shoot it and I can't you move. Go into a door in a without going like this. <laughs> I'm not a video gamer, what can I say? It was fun though. It'll be fun. I need to find myself a new planet. Get away from this awesome thing right here. This weird alien creature. <laughs> oh, get out of here. He's such a weirdo. My neck hurts. Who has to work tomorrow? <laughs> I have to go to the grocery store and we oh. came up with a grocery list. There are like three whole things on it. And that's seriously it. So, actually I kind of like that grocery shopping though. Oh, pomegranate, There's kumquat, a... and a banana. Okay, I can't, I can't. I can't even. The, on the plus side, I'll be vlogging alone tomorrow. Yeah, that's the plus side. <laughs> no big plans for the weekend other than he has to work. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. And yeah, that's really about it. I'm going to put up, uh, I'm going to edit and upload the vlog from our furniture shopping last Saturday. But that will have already been up. Yes. That will already been up when you see this. Duh. I'm uploading it tomorrow. It will be up before you see this. And then Sunday, I think I'm gonna film a what's in my closet video. It's gonna, it's gonna be really terrifying. What skeletons <laughs> are in your closet? 
Oh, all right. It's clearly time for us to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. morning sorry I look kind of weird I don't have my glasses on and my hat and all that good stuff um, but it is Saturday morning it is August 10th and I've had a pretty productive morning so far I got up um, a little bit before 8 and went headed out and did some time on the treadmill which I did actually show you guys a little bit of that um, and then I took a shower and Got some things picked up around here, got the bed made and all that good stuff. And now I am eating my breakfast and have some eggs and a couple strips of bacon and coffee. And I am just watching, um, watching some YouTube. I'm just checking out some of my subscriptions a little bit. And it's 9.45 right now. I'm hoping to head out the door by no later than 10.15, 10.30ish. I'm gonna run to the grocery store, pick up a few things. Man, those bags under my eyes. <laughs> but no makeup, no, no effort because the grocery store doesn't care. <laughs> um, and then when I get home, I will show you what I got at the store. Um, and I have to edit and upload the vlog from last weekend. So that's pretty much the plan for today. I just talked to Jason. He's not feeling super great this morning and he had to work today. So that's really a bummer. Um, switchy, switchy with those arms. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, and I'm just, I don't feel like getting dressed and putting myself together. And yeah, it's going to be kind of a little bit of a a lazy, but not a lazy day. I mean, I'm going to get some things done, but it's going to be an at-home kind of day. Um, so we decided, we actually, we didn't go to church last week. Um, because if you watched last week's vlog, I had kind of a day at home. Um, just kind of a quiet day prayer and Bible study and some of that stuff. And... Jason headed out and did some shopping and then my sister was over in the evening um, but we didn't go to church so we're actually a sermon behind so what we're gonna do is we're tonight when Jason gets home we're gonna watch last week's sermon and then tomorrow night we'll watch the one that is actually preached tomorrow morning and then we'll get back to actually going to church um, going getting out and going to the building next week so and I just always feel like I want to <laughs> I'm so sorry with the hand back and forth my arms don't have a lot of strength these days. Um, I just want to reiterate that I'm not suggesting when I, when I'm, if I seem like I'm apologizing for us not going to church or like I feel bad about it, I'm not suggesting that you have to go to church to be a good Christian or to, to be a believer or, or any of that. Um, I think church is important. I think fellowship with other believers is important. Um, but it's certainly, it's, yeah, no judgment here, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, whatever works for you. There's a reason that the churches do these online services now because that works better for some people. So for me, it's just, I like to get out of the house. I know it's good for me to get out of the house, to do the routine, to get dressed, to go be with other people. So that is why I myself prefer going to a church building um, and get a little bit down on myself when we don't. It's more about the effort to get up and get out and all of that. But Anyway, all that to say, 
<laughs> we're doing church at home this weekend. I am going to go eat my breakfast and head out to the store and I will check in with you in a bit. Whew. It is humid out and my food is rapidly cooling or thawing, thawing, rapidly thawing <laughs> in the humidity. So I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse of what I got. I've got some granola to put in my smoothie bowls in the morning. I just love the name, Crapola Kissy Poo. Come on, that's hysterical. Got two kinds of candy for my work jar. Got some steamed veggies, some baby carrots for lunches. Tried these crispy skillet potatoes just because they looked kind of interesting. Um, and then I got some unsweetened almond milk to go in the smoothies too. And this is lunch today. I decided to try some zucchini spaghetti and this um, farmer's market sauce. So I'll let you know if that's any good. This is Jason's lunch, mac and cheese. Um, got some spinach and some bananas also for the smoothies and then pineapple, strawberries and blueberries all again for the smoothies. And then I got some Weight Watchers, giant chocolate fudge bars, some mini tater tots and fries to go with some of the stuff we have for dinners. And then I just got two of these Evol burritos. They're all natural ingredients. Um, chicken, bean, and rice. And then the other one is shredded beef burrito and some applesauce. Cinnamon for Jason, unsweetened for me. The grocery store was not as busy as I thought it was going to be. So it was actually really nice. Um, and then my mom and dad called on my way home, so chatted with them for a little bit, um, and that was nice. And yeah, I'm gonna put away these groceries and I'll check in with you in a minute. It is 12.23 and I'm working on editing the vlog from couch shopping last weekend. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Hopefully it'll be enjoyable to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. Jason should be home in just a couple of minutes and then we're going to have lunch. But I was going to show you real quick. Um, I got, so I started Weight Watchers. I talked about that a little bit um, a couple weeks ago. But they sent me this, it's like a if I can get it to focus there. It's a five pound milestone. It's a key keychain, so they said a key ring, and then you put this on the chain, and then I think they send you one of these every five pounds, I believe. So this is like this little congratulations thing. I thought that was really nice. Um, I didn't know they did that. They didn't do that when I was with Weight Watchers before. So um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. So I think I'm gonna put this on my, on my keychain, and that'll just be a nice little reminder of um, losing that first five pounds. So that was kind of nice. Got a doctor's bill to pay here. That's always super fun. That is all that's going on. It's not the most exciting Saturday ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I already said, Jason should be home any minute. And then I'm gonna try those zucchini noodles for lunch. So I'll definitely show you how those turn out because I'm kind of curious. All right, I am trying my first uh, veggie spaghetti zucchini. And then I'm using this farmer's market garden vegetable sauce just to heat some oil in a pan and heat it up. So we're gonna see if it's any good. Oh, wait, oh. What is that? A, oh, cub bag. That doesn't seem like a great idea. I mean, all I'm doing is heating it. Two to three minutes. So I'll heat the oil for a couple minutes and then I'll throw that in. You wanna show them what you're having for lunch? I'm very technical. Bob Evans. Mm -hmm. What happened this morning? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I got a little vertigo or something. I, I flipped over in bed right a couple, what, 15 minutes before I got up this morning. And all of a sudden I was like, whew, 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 in my head. I was like spinning and, oh, uh, and then I just didn't feel right all day. Went to work, but I was like, my head wasn't, uh, Solid, I guess you said. Oh, but I, I looked up, I was moving some stuff up on a, a hook up here, and I was like, oh, I had to look down. But now I can do that, that's okay. Ba the battery's flashing, so we'll talk fast, but. We did the, uh, 
What do you call it? Epley maneuver. Epley. And it seems to maybe have helped a little bit. Seems like it. Well, you could tell my eyes were moving. But. Yeah, so I have, I've been diagnosed with BPPV. It's benign proximal positional vertigo, I think. And the Epley maneuver you, will help with that. You can look it up um, on Google for how to do that. But flashing batteries making me tense. Um, Quick. But we it's called that. nystagmus it, it like in your better, eyes. Actually. And it, it's when your eye is moving back and forth really fast. And I could see it in his eyes. So yeah, I do feel I think, better now. I think that's what it was. So we'll be curious to see what happens Weird. the rest of the day. Never felt that before, ever. It's not fun. Oh, it actually looks really good. It's strange, but it would definitely be a healthier way to have spaghetti and stuff sometimes if it tastes good. So I'm kind of excited. Punch this into my Weight Watchers app and see what the points are like. I'm thinking nothing because it's zucchini, but a little bit of olive oil and then the sauce. But you want to start this? Yeah, we could probably start it now. Here's the finished product. You said you tried a zoodle. Yeah. And it was decent. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Cool. Oh, not offensive. I'll let you know after I eat it because I'm not going to try to eat this and film at the same time. I'll let you know later what I think, but it looks good and it makes the noodles no carbs. There's no points in anything except there is um, two points, I think, in the pasta sauce and there's some points in the cheese on top. But otherwise, zucchini, zero points. And the rest of the sauce, it's that farmer's market stuff. So it's a perfect Weight Watchers lunch. It's dinner time. It is now about six o'clock, I think. We have not moved. <laughs> Whole day. We are watching Big Bang Theory. We did watch a lot of YouTube. And for dinner, we're having some chicken nuggets and some baby tater tots. And this is um, water, but it has this crystal light packet in it. It's grape flavored and it has caffeine in it. So I'm kind of just, I'm enjoying the grape flavor for sure. I don't know if the caffeine's having any effect, but tracked all my points and we're good. Someone is over there diligently trying to win a level on one of my phone games that is making us crazy. It's making us crazy, isn't it? He can't even talk, he's so engrossed. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a way. <sighs> gotta be, but I don't know. Here, just uh, snuggling. Oh, and it is uh, World Lion Day today. I thought we should mention that. It's World Lion Day today. You know, we kind of like lions here a little bit. Oh, yep, we do. So, I'll put a couple links um, in the description of this vlog for some good organizations if you want to look into those to support people who help or rescue lions. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. This is going to be our Saturday night. So, say good night. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. The light out here is miserable, so I apologize. I really need to get a ring light. Um, I just thought I'd pop on real quick um, and say good morning. And uh, it's Sunday. I think I already said that. Um, it is August. Wow. It's August something. It's August 11th. <laughs> um, and I do not feel very well today. Honestly, I, I slept well. Um, but I don't know what it is. So I just feel I have still have this little bit of a cough going on and I just feel just kind of icky. I don't, my stomach isn't sick, nothing like that, but yeah, I just feel kind of icky. So I was going to go through my clothes today. I'm going to save that for another time. Um, and today I'm just going to veg. So Jason is at work until 1230 again. So I'm just going to watch some TV and maybe play some video games. I've gotten weirdly into video games again now. Um, I'm wearing my my big old cozy PJs that I got at Target a couple weeks ago. Um, I was going to show you though, I made my first smoothie bowl. Um, I showed you the ingredients yesterday. Um, but what's in this one, I didn't, I left the spinach out. Um, I didn't buy a ton of spinach, so we'll use that for during the week. But today it is a banana, five frozen strawberries, five frozen pineapple chunks, about four like cereal spoons full of frozen blueberries. Um, a half a cup of the crapola dark chocolate and raspberry granola and about a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Did I say there was a banana in there? There's a banana in there if I didn't say that. Just blended that all up in the blender, threw the granola on top, and here's the finished product. <coughs>
I took a couple bites already. It is delicious. And I wasn't really feeling coffee today, so I'm having another one of these crystal light packets that I showed you last night, um, just to get in a little bit of caffeine this morning. Uh, getting ready to watch some Grey's Anatomy. So yeah, it's gonna be major chill day today. I do have all of my, like my laptop and all of my planning stuff out, cause I'm gonna get my planner ready for the week and I'll probably start, um, I'll probably at least export the footage for this week's vlog, um, the one that I'm filming right now, uh, so I can edit it tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I feel like editing it all tonight, but I mean, it, you know it's serious when I've got the couch all the way out. So we're doing the, we're doing the sofa sleeper today. Um, but yeah, that's all that's going on here today. Probably gonna be a really chill day, but I will check in with you later. I'm giving No Man's Sky another try here. No help this time, because Jason is not home, but we'll see. This is my view. Got my Death Star Star Wars blanket on. Sitting on the sleeper sofa. I got lions. We got more lions over there. Oh, no, Jason, but he'll be home soon. It's been a fantastic morning. I just got all of last week's vlog edited up through like Saturday morning. So I have the rest of Saturday and then whatever else I filmed today. That is it. It's a really nice feeling to have that already um, that far ahead. So now I'm taking a break to play some video games. We're already acting ridiculous. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't see any of that. <laughs> he just dropped the camera. Huh. Way to wrap me out. It's Sunday night. It's like, I don't know. It's eight o'clock something. Eight something o'clock. Eight o'clock somewhere. literally did nothing today. I, I mean, worked. well, he worked. Did I do anything? I did nothing. Played video games. I seriously, I played video games. And then I watched a little bit of TV. I did do my planner and all that stuff, but we got everything ready for tomorrow. And then we watched a ton of Big Bang Theory. We ordered pizza from that Topper's place again. And I played video games some more. And it basically got mocked mercilessly by this one. Because I play video games like a girl. I never said that. I do though. Just dem demonstrate like what I look like when I'm trying to walk into a building. Oh, yeah. In the game. I'm gonna go this way. I look that way. <laughs> I have trouble with the two joysticks. The one is to make you look around, the one's to make you walk. At, anyway, I, it's sort of drunken sailor going on, but I am got sucked back into No Man's Sky. Ooh, that really just made my hair look really cute. Um, so I think I'm going to be playing it a lot. But... Good night. <laughs> this week was not that bad, I don't think. We went to Hobby Lobby and bought some fall and Christmas stuff. Oh, Actually, yeah. I've already edited most of this week, and it was not that bad. That was Thursday. <laughs> that was Thursday. Yep. Forgot about that. Yeah, Friday we grilled. That was fun. It was not. It was a good week. We need to uh, be a little bit less lay on our butts all week this week. We did a lot of that. So, whoa. Did I get foggy or did I just go blind a little bit? I don't know. Looks fun. Looks the same. <laughs> okay. Clearly, we're done for the night. We'll see you in the morning. Ew, actually, we'll see you in next week's vlog. Oh, and I always forget to be youtube -y at the end of these. If you liked this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. That are just as crazy and ridiculous and boring as this boring. one. Okay, now. Good night. Night. <laughs>